1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1-800-GRIP-9-1
I'm very glad to be at Georgia Tech. There's a huge infrastructure here to support startup companies by PhD students or master students or even very bright senior undergraduates that come up with these brilliant ideas. And in my lab, I'm always supporting any of my students that want to spin off some of these great malware detection or cyber forensics techniques into a little startup company or even seek other entrepreneurial opportunities. For so many years now, these companies have just been growing and growing and growing, and they've been trying to develop new applications and new tools that are going to make consumers happy, that people are going to be interested in, that people are going to pay money for, uh, without much concern for privacy being built in from the ground up. And so now you're seeing situations where companies are finding themselves on huge stockpiles of personal information that people have shared with them because of how useful their products are. Facebook is a great example. Google is a great example. But now that we're seeing problems arise with access to this personal information, companies are having to go back and rethink how they protect users' information that they've been storing all this time. One of the best ways we've seen recently is companies just being more transparent, being able to tell you all the information that they know about you and then allow you to re give them feedback. Yes, I want you to know this about me. No, perhaps you should delete this from your database. And this is a great way to give control of that personal data back to consumers and back to the users of these products. That and yeah, what a alley-oop to ransomware, right? <laughs> <laughs>